tails. And these two tails actually come up and were followed by my skate. I created them with my edges. One is actually using my inside edge, and the other one's using my outside edge. And the more people that I work with the stopping do not use their outside edge. They only use the one edge. Let's see if you can't stop. Let's see if you can't stop at all. How do you stop? How do you make this nice flow go all the way up? Well, listen, you know what? I'm going to show you a couple little techniques here that you can use to work on your stopping exercise. All right? So, the first thing I like to do, you know what? If you never, if you can't stop, okay? If you can't stop, fast forward this part a little bit more uh, to the next little segment. So, as we're going through here, you want to be working on snow plow. So, as you're going to be coming in, you're going to turn your toes in, you're going to be snow plow. And snow plow focuses on your inside edge, which is your foundation edge. Because when you stand here, everything comes into the middle flow into the middle here, okay? Because it gives us a lot of security. Security means I'm going to balance. Balance means I'm not going to fall down. I don't want to fall down, right? Okay. So as we're doing the snow plow here, I'm going to show you how this works, okay? You can just stay right there. So I'm going to be coming towards you, skate, lie, and then you turn your toes in and your heels out. And what you're going to notice is you're going to start feeling comfortable doing this exercise because you're not going to be falling down, but you're going to be feeling your edges actually going over top of the eggs. Now look back here, we can see we got these two little lines, okay? That's the first step. The second uh, progressive step is that as we're coming in, we're going to focus on one skate. We're going to pick my right skate. Start turning it in and using the right skate only. So I'm turning it in, I'm going to feel the edge going. Now if it's a little bit rough or, or it's tacitized and not going through, not a problem. You'll be balancing your left and you're not going to be falling down. The next step, this is where we get into stopping. So as you're progressing through, turn, and now we want to turn your skate, your hips, and your shoulder. It allows you to have that complete full turn, come to a complete stop. And all we're using is the inside edge only. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to use both skates to get the complete stop. We're going to progress to that. That's something that we're definitely going to be working on later. But if you just want to know how to stop, you just want to make sure that, you know what, I'm not going to fall on the ice, I'm going to be secure. I'm not going to make a fool of myself, run into the boards or whoever. I want to know how to stop. So we come in here, lie, stole pop, through the hips, turn the skate, turn your shoulders, you come to a complete stop. Now, I always like to promote that you work on your both skates. You work on your right and your left. So make sure you work on your both. My right is stronger, my left needs a little bit more work, but not anymore because I think uh, I had a mom that actually took me out on the ice and did many, many hours of stopping exercises. But that's what it takes. It takes practice. It takes time on the ice to work on your stopping so that you can master this. This is something that you just don't want to go to a class and start learning right away. This is a very simple technique that you can apply right away to start working on your stopping. Now, as you progress from there, you get a little bit quicker. Come in, fly, one skate, hey! And the other one, the other one. Even just using one edge, you can stop, you can feel really good on the ice, and we can progress from there to my outside edges, which I'll show you later on. But anyways, this is something I know you can do. Practice, 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 give it a try.